All right, guys, so it looks like we got our first official preview of the new Park Assist that is going to be coming with Tesla Vision. Now, I know this isn't going to be the 11.3 that you guys were expecting, and even possibly 11.3.2, which is supposed to be the wide release version, is not going to have this new Tesla Vision Park Assist. And the reason I say that is because of all the issues that's going on with FSD beta right now. And if you guys haven't already seen or heard, um, I did talk about it in a previous video, so go check that out. I'll drop it in the description below. But that talks about what's going on with NHTS a and tesla essentially tesla had to put a whole statement out saying that fsd beta is still level two and there's a bunch of different things that it's doing that's breaking the law right now and they've essentially paused the rollout of fsd beta until further notice so unfortunately those of you guys that just subscribed to fsd beta or you guys purchased the fsd beta package for fifteen thousand dollars you guys are probably just out of luck right now just wait on a little bit longer i do feel bad but i feel even worse for those of you guys that don't have the ultrasonic sensors and you guys purchased your car right at the start of 2023 and essentially your car is crippled right from the lot you don't have any of the features that you do with previous cars and you are not going to get some of the newer features that come with project highland vehicles so all you really can do is just wait on tesla vision and all the functionalities to be restored in a future update now if you guys have a car without ultrasonic sensors right now things are going to be very limited in functionality you're not going to have things like smart summon or auto park the only thing you really have is just a backup camera which which at this time and age every vehicle has now it's pretty unfortunate for you but it seems like it's gonna be brighter because Tesla seems to be working on it right now just recently about a week ago they said that there's gonna be a dedicated team working on a Tesla vision and the park assist so I'm guessing that means that they haven't been putting as much priority into this stack whereas they were putting a lot of priority into the FSD beta build that you were driving on the single stack highway and city now the thing is if you guys were lucky enough to opt into FSD beta and you guys got into the program you guys are going to see something different with the park assist now now even though your car doesn't have ultrasonic sensors now it's relying purely on the vision side of it meaning that it's able to track what's in front of it what's behind it and all around it pretty much and essentially it's gonna be using the occupancy network which is gonna track objects around it and try to avoid it as much as possible even knowing that it's not some specific item so pretty much if it sees a rock or some kind of other hard object it's gonna try to get around it so I did talk about all of these variations of Tesla vision and there's even live proof of it in some of my videos of cars being activated with this feature when the proximity sensors or ultrasonics were ripped out of the car if you guys haven't watched that I'll drop a link below there and up top there as well um, it does show at least a couple cars and a car in Poland where they just picked up their vehicle and they noticed that it does show the measurement or the distance line for the proximities all right so if you guys are on the FSD beta stack you notice that it's completely different than the autopilot stack It's able to do things that autopilot definitely cannot do however there's one thing that was going on in the previous or the current build and that's the fact that auto park has been disabled for whatever reason it may give some indications as to what Tesla is doing in the background it may be that they are working on the Tesla vision and completely replacing it all together so this is why they've deactivated it and you guys probably know what I'm talking about trying to set up auto park is extremely difficult using ultrasonic sensors and this is probably why Tesla completely disabled it now the one interesting thing is that the new employee build 11.3 which is insanely good right now it also enabled park assist again and it seems like there's been a lot of videos showing how park assist works however it does not use newer codes so what that means is even though it's using the single stack it doesn't have the parking stack included meaning that you're not going to get the actual smart summon or the real park assist so from what i'm seeing it's just as slow as before or even slower so definitely this is not something that you would use on a regular basis it's just gonna annoy a lot of other drivers around you but there is one interesting thing here that you want to take note of and this is the fact that Tesla vision is sort of already active in the back of your vehicle now when I talk about being in the background I'm talking about shadow mode and it seems like Tesla has flipped the switch on the UI so you're able to see it on your display visualizations of the parking lines within a parking lot so if you guys take a look at this picture here it seems like it's able to map out certain lines by using some kind of calculation it could also be taking factor into the lane lines itself but just keep in mind that on winter days in places that have snow covered parking lots is not going to be able to map any of those out with the lanes so it's probably using the neural net to just figure out how many spaces and how far you should be away from certain vehicles so from the looks of this picture here it looks like tesla is putting a smaller red line right in between the vehicle and the vehicle next to you so it's going to be the same for the rest of the vehicles next to you or in front of you as well it's a really good way for auto park to work if it's able to map out the 
entire thing with certain lane lines already. But when there are no lane lines, it has to know which space it can and cannot squeeze into. Now, an additional thing I noticed here is that there is a measurement or proximity distances. You will notice right at the front of the vehicle, these wavy lines and shows you how far you are away from the vehicle in front of you. But I think it's not tuned properly in the software update. As you guys can see here, the distance measurement is all over the place and it's going into other vehicles as well, which it shouldn't be doing. It should typically be very close to your own vehicle and show how far you are away from that object. So definitely something Tesla has to work on, but it looks like major improvements here. And this is probably the first indication of what Tesla Vision is going to look like. Now, as for all the red lines and everything, I don't know what Tesla is going to be doing because V11.3 is actually removing all the red lines from the UI, but it might use those red lines for the park assist features. It really makes sense because red line really indicates how far you are away from the object and where and you, where you cannot go into. And now as for everybody wondering whether this is going to go into a base autopilot as well, I really think it's going to go into base autopilot. All these extra UI changes that we're seeing in FSD beta eventually is going to go on to the basic autopilot stack. So you're going to be able to see all the moving cars around you. You're going to be able to see all these features, but it's not going to be enabled unless you get enhanced autopilot or full self driving. But yeah, this video could have been shorter than it is, but I really wanted to just indicate that you guys are going to be seeing Tesla Vision fairly soon. And you don't have to worry about your car being a dud because of the lack of ultrasonic sensors. Actually, Tesla is moving away from ultrasonic sensor altogether. And the first indication of that really is that Model S's and Model X's, their luxury segment is going away from ultrasonic sensors as well. So well, there you guys have it this should wrap it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did you know what to do this is john once again peace out